Hey, how's it going, GBA? Purple Grizzly here. And I have another Black Ops commentary for you. It's been a while since I've uploaded here. I've been pretty busy this summer doing cool stuff, like I went on a few sweet backpacking trips, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, but regardless of that, you know, I got a nice gameplay. I went 40-8 and with the Gold AK, and everyone loves the Gold AK. You can't deny it. Um, so I got a pretty interesting life story for you guys. Uh, this life story is going to be about the time... I had a little prank war with my friend Zach. So this story takes place during my spring break of freshman year. Um, I went up to, uh, I went north of where I live, up into like some woody area, and uh, did some like community service work with my youth group. We went up to a this recreation campsite called Woodleaf Camp, and you know it's it's a big you know recreation area. Uh, where, you know, lots of schools will come for a certain, like, science camp or something like that. I don't know if you guys have, like, sixth grade science camp, but I do where I live. Um, but this time, you know, it was, like, an elder uh, woman's retreat. I guess it was, like, some church-based thing where uh, some elderly women just got away and went to this camp for a few days. I'm not quite sure, but, you know, that's what went down. So everything was going pretty chill. Uh, we were serving um, the food, like, you know, kind of waiting uh, in a type manner, you know, giving food, helping prepare it and stuff for these elder ladies. And uh, after they all left, you know, we would clean up the tables. And uh, my friend Zach, and I've known him for quite a while, and uh, this is freshman year, you know, he was still a little immature. And, I mean, I'm sure we were all, I know I was a little bit immature still in my freshman year. Heck, I'm still immature now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I still have some immature moments. Uh, it just happens that way. But... He thought it would be a funny idea to go around and uh, throw honey uh, at people's faces. So he started doing this with the staff members of my youth group. And uh, these guys are about, you know, from ages 19 to 40. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really close friends with a lot of staff members at this time. And, uh, you know, Zach and I were only 15, 14. And so he goes around throwing honey at people. And uh, he does it to me and stuff, you know, it's like, oh, okay. Well, I had to talk with the staff members, and we came to the conclusion, if you mess with the tree, you mess with the forest. And um, so we all planned this elaborate scheme to get back at him. Uh, the, the staff members were going to work together um, <laughs> and do their own little thing. And, you know, I kind of, I had my own little course of action that I took. So the first step of what I did, since he was going around putting honey on everyone, um, I, I took all his clothes and I actually went outside, right outside the cabin that, that um, our youth group was staying in, there was, uh, there was a tree, and it didn't have any leaves on or anything, so it was just like a leafless tree, and the branches, you know, were, were sticking out in so, such perfect ways. So I went and I took every bit of clothing that he brought to this campsite and just made a complete tree. Like, the leaves are gone, but his clothes were fulfilling this entire tree, and it was, it was, it was actually a beautiful sight, and I wish I took a picture of it. So he didn't like this idea um, <laughs> and he ended up uh, the next day or the next morning, I don't know, that night, I'm not quite sure, he um, he put some soda, like he actually like poured soda into my bag. <laughs> the bag that I brought, you know, with my clothes and all that stuff. I was, I was kind of pissed about this. Uh, it was a prank war, so you know, I didn't let my emotions take control. I stayed calm and uh, truth is he was actually trying to pour in another staff member's uh bag and he really didn't know like i was doing this crap to him <laughs> he was thinking it was the staff members but so he poured that in there and i really got my the the lead staff member scott he's like 40 years old he's one of the greatest people i've ever met in my life but he he got him kind of flared and uh you'll see what's you'll see what's gonna happen he zach gets it pretty good at the end so since all my stuff got drenched with soda and, uh, you know, that's kind of a bummer thing to happen. So what I do is I go to the kitchen and I ask uh, some of the, the people that actually work at the camp. So I'm like, hey, do you guys have any duct tape? Because if you guys didn't know this, I mean, duct tape, you can pretty much do anything with duct tape. It's, one, hands down, one of my favorite inventions of all time. Um, and I have multiple stories explaining that. But with duct tape, so what I did was, uh, while he was, you know, doing his thing somewhere else, helping out, I went back to the cabin and I took his sleeping bag, and I duct taped the crap out of it around the bedpost where it was like, it literally took him like two hours to unravel unravel it. 
And uh, so that was just a sling bag. His bag, I duct taped it to like a door or something like that. And I took his pillow. And the funny thing is, there was a camp. Camp? Why did I say camp? There was a uh, there was a pipe that that ran on the top of the ceiling of this cabin. And so I took his pillow and I duct taped it all the way around that. And uh, you know, it was it was really funny because like it was right above his bed, and he never saw it. Like, he never saw it. He went that night without a pillow, and it was duct tape. He woke up the next morning, he's like, Oh, wow, there's my pillow duct taped right in front of my face. So, of course, he tried uh, pulling some more crap on us, and um, he kind of failed at that. You know, he's not the best thinker, I'd say, at this time. He wasn't really planning things through. And uh, he just pretty much had some epic fails. Um, so... I think he did one last thing. He put, like, uh, some glue in something. I, I'm not really sure, you know, this This was, like, four years ago. Um, so the time is coming around, you know, the the camp is over with. Uh, we've all done our jobs, you know. We've all done our community service, and we got to leave. So um, the staff members, you know what, they're like, hey, Zach, come here. And, like, you know, stupid enough, he walks up to him, and uh, they grab him. They walk him all the way to this lake. And even though it's springtime, there was still a little bit of snow around because this is pretty, uh, pretty good northern California area. So there was some snow around the lake, so obviously this water is going to be cold. And uh, so they start swinging him. He's like, no, 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 my phone, my phone. So they, they let him take his phone out and stuff, and then they just grabbed him and uh, threw him in the water. And he was shivering the rest of that day. And I have to say, you know, it was pretty funny. And I guess from the way I told the story, he might seem like he's a little innocent dude, but... If you were there, you know, he had what's coming to him. So, pretty much, you know, I'm the type of guy, I'm always down for a prank. Um, obviously, you know, the things that that I talked about in this video, they weren't that harmless, they weren't that, you know, serious of pranks. But, you know, I'm down for a good prank anytime. Um, I actually, uh, I did this one prank. Um, you can find this on my channel, actually. It's my very first video. Not many people have seen this, but um, it's my friend Matt fell asleep on my couch. And, and you know, it's like 4 in the morning. I'm like, hey, you know what? I just have this genius idea. And what I do is I turn my Xbox on, I put in COD 4, and I turn my volume up all the way on my TV. And um, I have this big old MG, you know, and split-screen multiplayer by myself. And uh, I start recording him as he's sleeping, you know, no homo. And, uh, and I, I start, I pull the right trigger, and I start blasting his gun, and it's blaring. And, um, I started screaming, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, get down! Stuff like that. He starts shaking in his sleep and w literally sits up screaming his head off. It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I, I actually entered it in a competition and I won some money. However, I was unable to claim the money because the, um, the contest was kind of like on a foreign website and... I don't know, it didn't work out, but... What I want you guys to do is I want you to leave a comment below uh, describing one of your most epic pranks. Um, also, if you guys haven't uh, been familiar with my channel or anything, I've done some videos on the new Zombie Map Moon recently, and I was actually planning on doing a live commentary of the Map Moon for, for my next upload on GBA. But either way, if you want to check out my channel, feel free to. Um, feel free to like the video to help GBA out because, you know, they're a great community channel. Lots of uh, interesting commentators with different backgrounds and stuff. I don't know. It's up to you. You don't have to like the video, but, you know, GVA deserves it. Either way, guys, my name is Purple Grizzly. And always remember, I will talk to you later.